YouTubers are gonna fire this on you. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, PooTubers! What have you done? Look at this! Zip wire. He's crashed some planes. He's crashed some planes as well, is he? Everybody. So it is Saturday today and we were meant to be going to see Great Nanny Ida today but unfortunately she has double booked herself. She has other people coming to visit and stay today. So Howard kindly offered that we go and visit her at some point in the new year. So yes, unfortunately we aren't going to see Great Nanny Ida today so it's a bit of a normal day. But I thought I'd do a vlog of it anyway because it's like the last shopping day until Christmas. I can hear footsteps coming up. <laughs> What? I need my socks and, and my jumper. Oh, Alright then. Yes, he needs his socks and his jumper. So yes. So yes, I thought I'd do a little vlog of it anyway. Um, so we got to go shopping this morning. I've got a few bits to get for Ted, for Howard's um, Christmas sack stocking kind of thing. Um, I just want to get a few little extra bits. And um, that's it, I think. Oh yes, and I was going to make mince pies today as well. So I might show you how I'm going to do that too. So yes, that'll be our day. But I thought I'd take you with us. So we will see you later. Bye. Hey, yo. I'm the team again. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Lovely boy. Up and saw a star shining in the east beyond them far and to the earth it gave great light and so it continued both days. Hey, Where's the bar? No, it's an eight. Ted. You put it as an eight. Eight. And then you do zero zero, and then another eight. Zero zero. Eight. Eight. And then you do an S of oh, five. Sorry. Five. And then you turn it that way, I think, and it all the other way. No, it does. It says. There you go. Look, it looks like boobs. <laughs> and coffee and Starbucks and then I think we're probably going to go and do the shopping. I've got a few bits for Howard which I will show you later as well. Some uh, post alcohol um, <laughs> comfort food. Right, so we are back from the craziness of the high street. Yes, it was really crazy. It was mainly crazy. We went into M&S and I went downstairs to the food court to get Howard a few bits. And it was mainly crazy in there and it was mainly crazy in um, Sainsbury's right at the end when we left as well. But the rest of the high street seemed quite quiet. Howard and I were quite surprised. Although when we left Starbucks, it was starting to get a bit busier then. So maybe people have gone out this afternoon to get their last few bits. But yes, so we are home now and I just thought I'd show you the last few bits that I bought for Howard for like his Christmas stocking sack thing so yeah I'm just gonna show you now so he asked me not to buy him any beer or anything so I bought this sparkling rhubarb and ginger presse from m and I thought that looked quite nice and I also bought this 
Shallot Marmalade as well. That was from m and And what else did I buy from m and I bought this, which is the Artisan Kitchen Damson and Raspberry Jam. I thought Ted Howard might like that. And then yesterday in Sainsbury's, I bought this sweet chilli sauce by Blend. And it's sugar-free as well. So I thought he might quite like that. And I also bought a Peri Peri sauce, which was sugar-free. He likes these spicy sauces, so I thought I might as well get him some. Reggae Reggae marinade and sauce jerk barbecue and he really likes this as well and thankfully he forgot to get some today he said to me i've got to put this on the shopping list and he didn't hang on hang on and then i bought him some scratch cards as well gotta go because someone's about to run upstairs and see what i bought howard so bye what managed to get away with nobody seeing any presents thank goodness whoosh, whoosh. um so at the moment i am I've just made some more biscotti. I didn't make, I didn't do like videoing of that because I did that last weekend. Um, so if you want to go back and watch that. And I've also uh, done a video of making my almond biscotti, which I will link down below in the description box for you. So I've just made some more. Those are a present for my mum. And I'm also going to make a sherry trifle on Boxing Day as well, um, for Boxing Day. And I might do a video of that. I know it's after Christmas. And we normally have sherry trifle on Boxing Day, but I thought it might make a good New Year's Eve dessert, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to do a video of it anyway and put it up. Um, and yes, so I've made the almond biscotti for the base of the trifle. Um, and then I'm going to make some mince pies in a minute. I'm going to make some gluten-free and dairy-free mince pies, like vegan ones. Well, I think they're vegan. I don't know if the brandy is vegan that I've bought, but I'm going to say vegan mince pies, but I don't know if they are. Yes, so I'm going to make some mince pies. I've just done the mince meat, and I'll explain how I've made that. And then I'm also... I'm also going to make some pastry as well. So I'm just soaking some dates at the moment. I'm going to make the pastry out of dates. So yes, having a busy afternoon. Ted and Howard are currently playing George in the D Jungle on the PlayStation 2, I think. I think Howard bought it from a charity shop recently. So yeah, so that's our afternoon so far. In this pot, I have the mince meat that I've made. Um, this is made from mixed fruit, so dried mixed fruit, apple puree, which I made earlier, um, orange juice, brandy, and I think that's it. I'll mix spices as well. And this recipe I will put in the description box below for you. And then I've also just made the pastry as well. And the pastry is made out of dates, which I soaked for five minutes, um, gluten-free oats, and ground almonds as well. I think in the actual recipe is ground pecans, but you can use either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this out now and then put the base in the oven for a little while and then add the filling and put a top on. So I'll show you that now. So these are my vegan mint pies. Only one got stuck on the bottom, I can't find it now. But yes, they look yummy. Oh, and we'll let you know. I can't find where the one got stuck. Oh, there it is. That's the one that got stuck on the bottom. But apart from that, they all came out. Um, and yeah, again, I will link this recipe in the description box below for you. And I think we'll probably try a couple of these after dinner as well. Sausage, chips and beans for dinner. Hello. <laughs> so I'd like to know what you think of the mince pies, Mr. Nibs. Oh, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. What, fill into the thigh? A uh, homemade um, mince meat. Mm. Nice? Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy bear, let daddy speak. Reset. Take two. Okay. 
say it's nice. I'd probably go for deeper fill next time. Yeah, I thought you'd say that, but I didn't have enough to fill the pies otherwise, so I knew you'd say that. Yeah, it tastes alright. Good. I'm not. Probably be a little bit sweeter, do you think? Yeah. No. The pastry needs to be sweeter, yeah? Or just put something on top of it. And then... Right then. There's your verdict, everybody. So it is the evening now and Ted is next door with Daddy watching uh, Hotel Transylvania 2, the same movie he watched last night. Um, yeah, so we're going to have a little movie night tonight and then Ted is going to go to bed. Um, I think I'm going to end this vlog here, otherwise it's going to go on forever, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, what have I got coming? So the next sort of three or four videos will all be vlogs of Val Christmas and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do a sherry trifle. And then at the end of December, I'm going to do a sherry trifle video, sorry. <laughs> um, how I make my dad's sherry trifle, which is also in my book, Gifts from Grandpa. And then at the end of December, um, we're, I think it's the 28th, we're going to see Disney on Ice. So I was going to make that my final video of December fingers crossed it all goes to plan um, so yeah I think I'm gonna end this vlog here that's it from us we've had a brilliant day it's been quite a nice relaxing day actually um, and shopping wasn't too bad it was crazy busy but hopefully in general it all go back to normal again so yeah anyway I'm gonna go so thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below have you had a crazy busy Saturday today and how was your, how was your last day of shopping sort of for Christmas let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time bye